Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, And today we're gonna get back to some 3D printing. Now, a while ago, I 3D printed this little custom USB holder here that you can see. It holds my little SD cards and it holds my USB sticks, but there's a problem. I have a huge pile of extras. Well, as you can see, this is full and I've got this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and this one, and that one, and that one. I think I need to make a bigger holder. All right guys, so the goal is to take this mini guy here. We wanna make a larger one. So all we need to do is go over to Thingiverse and you can see up here, I'll actually have this URL in the description, but this takes you to the one I already created. Uh, but what you can do is you can come down here and you can click on this little customizer right here. You can say, I wanna create one with customizer. And this is how you actually make your custom version because mine was a custom version made from somebody else's model. And you can see on the screen here, here's the base model that they give you and you can rotate around it and do all that stuff on the page. But you can put anything that you want on it. You can come up here and say you want it to be USB or just SD, uh, just SD or USB. Tell it if you want, if you want SD card slots, you can add that. You can do a sign on the front and put whatever text you want on it. And you can even make them to where they interconnect. You can see there's like these little interlocking tabs right here. So if we go back to the one that I've already created here, and I should also tell you too that once you create it and click OK, it takes a little while for them to create it, and then they send you an email telling you it's done. Well, here's the finished product. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out right here, and then we'll take it into Cura, slice it, and let's get it on the printer. Oh, and I should also mention we're going to print a second one here that says Alves on the front of it. And that's because John Alves was the person that helped me 3D model the brackets for the Oboto Revolution Racing Simulator so that we could get those transducer mounts made in metal. And uh, the prototyping in plastic was like hugely important. So I wanted to thank him. I wanted to create him one of these that was personalized. So we'll go ahead and print that out while we're at it. All right, so here we have the Ultimaker Cura software loaded. You guys are probably really familiar with this if you watch my videos. It's my preferred slicer that I use right now uh, for 3D printing on my Ultimaker V2. And I even use it when I print on my Robo 3D. So let's go ahead and load up the two models. So we'll come in here. I've got the two models right there. Open them up. You can see them on the build platform. and It's doing the slicing in real time. That's one thing I like about Cura. You can just see this little progress bar up here. It works phenomenal. Now, in the video, I'm actually going to print these each by themselves because it takes longer to print two items like this because the print head has to keep transitioning on each layer between them. So it's more efficient for me to print one and then immediately queue it up and print the other one right afterwards. So we're going to print at a layer height of 0.1 millimeters. And uh, we're going to keep the speed at 80. That's the default that the Ultimaker V2 is really happy at. But you can actually run it quite a bit faster than that. And our total print time here says 10 hours. But it's actually significantly less than that since I'm printing each one of them separately. All right. Let's go ahead and get these over to the 3D printer so we can see what the final product looks like. All right, so here we have the original. Now this was originally printed in PLA and you can see it was silver. I actually painted it um, using some of that Krylon Color Fusion paint and it turned out pretty good. You, you almost can't tell that it was a different color unless you look at the bottom. But the new ones that I have right here that I just printed off, the really big one here, the Barnacles Nerdgasm one. This guy right here, these are both printed in uh, Color Fab XT Black. Now the Color Fab XT material is more durable than PLA. It prints very, very nicely. Um, it looks similar to PLA when you print it. And the cool thing is it's solid black all the way through. I do not have to paint these. And you can see it clearly says here on the front, Barnacles Nerdgasm. I could emboss that with some white. I may actually do that at some point if I can find some paint. 
And then I've got this one right here. It says Alvis, and this is John's. And he specifically requested this many USB ports and this many uh, little memory stick ports for his need. And for me, I have this huge pile over here. We'll bring it over. Ah, over here. I keep accumulating more and finding more in the drawer. So I was like, I definitely need a bigger one than this. Well, actually that's Alvis. I need a bigger one than this little itty bitty one I made originally. So now I've got this big guy. So let's go ahead and insert all the memory sticks into it. Ta-da! I mean, doesn't that look a lot nicer than just having those all laying on your desk? I like it. Hey, would you look at that? I happen to have some model paint just laying around. So let's go ahead and paint mine up. I'm not sure if John wanted his painted, but we're definitely gonna do mine. Let's see, uh, I think white lettering is necessary. All right, time to do a little painting. Now guys, I don't do a lot of model painting, so this may turn out absolutely freaking horrible, um, but we gotta try. All right, don't try this at home, guys unless you want to. Ooh, that's a stiff brush. That's what she said. Get the lettering here. Oops. Oh, I am horrible at this. All right, that is the wrong brush for the job. <laughs> Do over. Okay, well, so far in this episode, we've learned that I don't know how to paint. So that's a skill apparently I'm gonna have to learn because I screwed this up royally. <laughs> Well, this one I'm probably gonna have to let dry now and I will have to spray paint it. But, uh, oh well, I like trying and I also like leaving my mistakes in my videos. So, hope you guys learned from that. Don't just take a brush and start like trying to do it because it, it, it gets down in the letters and it drips everywhere and well, yeah. Fail. All right guys, well here's the finished product. I know the paint job is absolutely freaking horrible. <laughs> um, I could probably just spray it with some something to take it off there. But anyways, it's Color Fab XT is the material. It's printed on an Ultimaker V2. It fits all my memory cards, so it's an awesome replacement for, for the other thing I have. And it demonstrates a really cool thing that you can do with Thingiverse. And that is you can go on there and some of the models you can actually modify on the web page, have it make customized versions that fit your needs. And then you can download them and print them. It's really cool. So you don't have to know how to 3D model to create custom stuff. It's actually really neat. And also again, special thanks to John for helping me with the transducer project on the Abodo. We're just waiting to wrap that up. We just need those metal brackets to come in. But here is your custom little USB holder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get your address and get this mailed out to you ASAP. And thank God I didn't try to paint it. Cause that would have been a disaster. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Seriously though, how did I do that bad? Like, <sighs> fail. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.